There are genetic tests that can tell a woman if she's more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer at any point in her life. But for black women, those tests usually come back inconclusive. Now, researchers at Hampton University just got funding to try to figure out why. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clements takes a closer look. It's another step towards finding what is possibly causing breast cancer in African American women. This right here will inform our next study uh, in the Hampton Roads area. Breast cancer research continues to grow at Hampton University thanks to a grant from the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Louise L. Rick Santi studies the biological risk factors associated with breast cancer. She says they're characterizing genes that increase the risk of breast cancer in women but haven't been well characterized in African-American women. For African-American women, they tend to have very unique changes in their DNA, and often we don't know what that means. Dr. Melissa Gomes looks at how the environment, even stress, increases the risk of breast cancer. So is it possible that um, people who are under a great deal of stress have a gene that turns on that makes them more predisposed to developing cancer? There are a couple parts to the study. Dr. Santi says they recruited a group of women with breast cancer, and the goal is to look at their DNA and identify those genetic changes that increase the risk of breast cancer in black women. Then they'll take those specific genetic changes, which they believe are causing the disease, and grow them in petri dishes to reflect that genetic change and see what happens to the behavior of the cell. So what we're trying to do here is really get a picture of what is unique within populations, be between populations, and with particular people. I think that this study is really important because it will speak to a population that generally does not have a voice. And with this project, they're connecting the biology with the behavioral to study the illness. In Hampton, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.